If you're looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on everybody, it's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guys and today we got the Team of the Week Week 3 reveal. So as you guys probably saw last night, we got the first two players as per usual. They give us the Legend-esque Team of the Week throwback players as the first two. But we still have of course, we still get to see the LTD, the current Week Hero, and the lower set pieces that will be getting power-up expansion level players. Now, of course, what I'm excited for per se is it's going to be the Hero and the LTD. I mean, I'm hoping, I, I've had my predictions, hopefully my predictions are right. We're going to find out, but well, you guys are going to find out in just a second. If we hit in our prediction, our goal is to just hit a few this year, guys. It's super hard. Guessing Team of the Week this year is almost impossible because it's past years. Like, we can go all the way back to, like, the 90s. Like, that guy, the Brian guy from the Niners back in the 90s. Like, you never know. It's it's really hard. So many Week 3s. 32 teams. Hundreds of players. We, one Week 3 every single season. It's going to be, like, almost impossible. But if we can just guess one or two, I will be happy for the year. So, we're going to keep going every week. So, let's see if we can guess any right this week. But, guys, before we get into today's video... As per usual, guys, if you do want a chance to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, all you got to do is go down below, like the video, turn on that noti bell, boys, comment down below, Poodle Squad, and be, of course, be subscribed. Now, for today's shout out, it is Daddy Dev. Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for being a part of the Poodle Squad and showing support each and every day. I really appreciate all you guys that do comment every day. And, of course, I'm getting my way around. Eventually, everyone's probably going to be said, I would imagine. But, guys, that's about it for that. I'm super excited to see this Team of the Week stuff. Make sure you're playing your solo. Of course, it does expire like now. So if you didn't play it yet, you missed it. But make sure you're playing next week, which is this current week, as soon as possible because you do not want to fall behind, guys. That's already two weeks you missed if you missed the first two. So you only have like one more leeway and you do not want to be the guy that in Christmas is coming home early at a party. Just play your team of the week solo because you know you're not going to be out the next You're going to be out the next day. Trust me. Play your solos. But that's better for that, guys. We have plenty of stuff to get over. Let's go check everything out. Okay, right, so first, starting off with some of the updates, we have abilities, AP points, balancing, which pretty much means a nerf coming to certain abilities like bench press. Well, the bench press nerf is officially coming. It's been super OP. People are running bench press and pretty much all their secondary that presses and just going ahead and completely killing the pass game. Now, this is good because bench press, I believe, was one AP, so you were able to get it on everyone quite easily. It should be like three AP each, which will pretty much mean that you can only use it on like one guy. Or all your guys, but you also can't have great pass rush. So here's the issue. People had bench press on everyone and then an edge threat. So you're pretty much getting insane pressure while your receivers can't get off people. So hopefully that is going to be the nerf right there. Exciting to hear that they are able to do this throughout the year to uh, fix some things up. And then uh, gameplay team is reviewing some feedback and options. Durham versus the world token tonight, of course. And of course, by the way, guys, if you did miss some tokens earlier already, they did say there will be for now in February where you can get some extra tokens if you did miss some shows. And then power-up expansion will become available when the player gets an upgrade or at the finale. So pretty much, Jalen Ramsey, if you get them tonight, Keenan Allen or uh, Chubb, you cannot power them up. So you're, you are able to use them in the power-up or bypass it with training, but you're not going to be able to use them in the power-up until they get another card. So let's say Jalen gets a Halloween card, like 94, 94 overall, then you can go ahead and power them up using that card. So pretty much... That card's never going to be able to be powered up, pretty much, if you guys understand where I'm coming from. Because by the time you can power them up, you're probably getting the newest card. You know what I'm saying? But pretty much that's it for that. Moving on, we have Cortland Finnegan, if you guys probably saw him last night. Nice to see him back in the game. He is the one that got his ass beat by, like, Andre Johnson, if you guys do remember that, back in the day. But 90 speed, 89 excel, 88 agility, 92 jumping, 87 play rec, 87 man, 86 zone, and 87 press. Powered up and kept up going to be pretty good. I just wish that he had a little bit more zone and press. But again, you will be able to get it up there. If you have maxed out lockdown, you can get his man to 90, his zone to 90, his press to 90, and I believe his play rec to potentially 90, while also getting a 91 speed. So that's going to be a really great cornerback. You just need all the lockdown cam to max. Next, we got Shaq Barrett. Shaq Barrett's going to be this week's hero for the current day uh, for the Bucks. 83 speed, 85 excel, 71 strength, 88 tackle, 90 play rec, 84 block shit, 77 power movement, 93 finesse move. Seems very similar to a, uh, what do you call it, TJ Watt. Looks just like TJ Watt from last week or two weeks ago. Not nothing crazy. Gonna be a great pass rusher, of course. His block shed's decent enough. Um, again, but I still rather probably Lawrence Taylor. Possibly more well-rounded, faster. And Lawrence Taylor probably, although Shaq Barrett's gonna be a pretty budgety option. That's still really, really good regardless. Maybe move him to end, move him to the other side. Either way, he's gonna be super great regardless of how you use him. Next, we got JJ Watt. JJ Watt is going to be this week's LTD. Now, I did predict him as the LTD last week, so kind of upsetting. I would have gotten one right had I predicted it this week. And you know what's funny is I was going to re-predict him again for this week, but if I did, my predictions would have been so similar with Jamal Charles and Watt again. So I didn't want to go ahead and do that route, but here we go. We got JJ Watt. Really awesome LTD, though. 73 speed, 79 excel, 92 strength, 92 tackle, 93 play rec, 87 block shed, 90 power move, 86 finesse. Now, powered up and chemed up, guys. He's going to have above 90 block shed. 
He's going to have, well, potential if you use the right chems, or very high power move, like a 94 power move. He's going to be one of the best dual purpose ends, being able to stop the run and rush the passer with a crazy high play rec. Going to be crazy strong, great tackle. This card's going to be great. Very well rounded as per usual. JJ Watt cards are these. JJ Watt's the kind of card that starts the year not too great because he's so well rounded and he never gets thresholds. Kind of like a Ramsey. Their first card's never great, but once they get that next card, they get that boost to whether it be speed or their well roundedness, they end up being monster. Mike Allstott, Mike Allstott fullback, not too flashy, but still gonna be great for the run game if you guys were in stretches with the lead blocker, or pitches with the lead blocker, or dive with the lead blocker. Gonna have the 86 lead block, 89 impact blocking, 79 run blocking, and 85 speed, which is what's pretty much important there. Um, again, what really matters is going to be that impact and lead blocking, the speed too, of course, to get to the blocker. Because again, a lot of fullbacks would be great blockers, but if they're too slow, they're going to hurt you in the long run because they're not going to get out in front ahead of time. And I wish the run block was a little bit better because, of course, that means you hold blocks a bit better. Uh, but again, for a fullback who's going to be blocking, it might be just enough. Then we got our power up expansion, guys. So as you guys can see here, Aaron Donald got a power up expansion, which does mean that he's going to be able to go up to a bleeding. What is he? He was, I think, based an 89 overall here, powered up. So he's going to be a 90 overall now, which is super awesome. So now we get Aaron Donald even better. Uh, he's going to be having, he's going to have some crazy stats, guys. Aaron Donald just got even better, which is great because he was this close to some thresholds. Uh, moving on, we got Dietrich Wise Jr., just a guy in the Patriots, nothing too special there. Xavier Rose got a plus one to his power up as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, these cards don't matter so much. It's more about their actual elite and what they get. Derrick Henry got a plus one. So for all you Derrick Henry guys, you Titan fans, out there he did get a plus one on his base elite card will power it up card so pretty much add two to his base elite is pretty much what we want to be doing there and then of course we did get tyler lockett I, that is one of my predictions so guys i believe i predicted um, lockett and henry so i'm i got two today if only i had had what now lockett's gonna be super awesome i did have him powered up like i told you guys so i'm kind of excited for that as well i'm going to be able to get my tyler lockett up and probably use him as my number three receiver now because he is gonna get even higher speed than he already has which is super awesome also, one last guy, guys, but Patrick Mahomes got a power-up expansion as well. Now, they didn't have the screenshot for it, so they did say just they'll tell us about it. So, Patrick Mahomes was an 89 powered-up. He is now a 90. Pretty much add plus ones to all of his powered-up stats. That's pretty crazy. So, we got Mahomes, Donald, Lockett, and Henry today, guys. That's a really great team of the week. And then we got Watt to top it off and Barry. It was a great team of the week, guys. Great week. But that pretty much does wrap up everything for this week's Team of the Week, Week 3. I'll be back with you guys Monday with another prediction. And, of course, this stuff does drop between 1 and 2. I mean... They say a time, but sometimes it can get delayed. So come back around then for that exact drop as per usual. But guys, about it for the video. Again, if you want a chance to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, go down below, like the video, turn on the noti bell, uh, subscribe to the channel, comment down below Poodle Squad, and also subscribe regardless if you guys are new. Come join the channel. Let's keep growing, boys. Thank you so much for all the support. I'm out. Peace.